Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. And first of all, I gotta apologize. I got some new glasses and they are very reflective. <laughs> uh, for an extra six bucks, I could've gotten non-reflective glasses, but whatever, we have to deal with them for the next year or so, right? Okay. So anyway, uh, a lot of people who have seen my DVD collection overview video would say that, man, dude, you got a lot of chick flicks in your collection, and I do. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So basically, we're gonna talk about romantic comedies, love stories, movies that are basically targeted at women, okay? Um, but they're my favorites too, and I'm not ashamed to say that, okay? Uh, there are some movies that I've talked about in the previous video, so I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, okay? And those are Titanic, Cinderella, the Step Up movies, the Shrek movies, the American Pie movies, and the Twilight Saga. All of which, all these movies have some type of love story, romance, plot to the, romance part of the plot, okay? But in the description, you can find the videos to those specific, uh, uh, my thoughts on those specific series or movies, okay? So those are in the description. If you wanna check it out, go check it out. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about this set of movies. And for those of you who are impatient and just wanna fast forward to what I have my, my thoughts are for these particular movies, there are the titles, okay? Okay, so let's go through each one of them, and these are, they are not in any particular order. I like them all the same, okay? They're all my favorites, okay? And these aren't all of them, by the way. I have more I want to talk about, but for the sake of time, let's just go through this, this one stack right here. First movie we got here is Pretty Woman, okay? Uh, this movie stars Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, okay, Richard Gere plays this really rich businessman, okay, and he uh, basically uh, needs an escort to go to his meetings and little parties and stuff like that, and he hired Julia Roberts, uh, and they basically fall in love, <laughs> and he likes her, okay. Uh, so yeah, very recommend that movie. Next movie we got here, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan, again, <laughs> You've Got Mail. Okay, this is a movie where, in real life, these two people are rivals, but they met online and they're like best friends, okay, they give advice to each other and stuff like that. So it's like, in real life, they're like competing against each other, but online they're like, you know, the best of buddies, okay? So check that out. I highly recommend this movie, okay? Next movie we have here is Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt, and Helen Hunt. I find her very attractive. What women want, okay? This is like Mel Gibson's heyday, okay? In the movie, Mel Gibson goes through this accident, okay? And he basically develops this superpower, okay? He uh, can read women's minds, so he's like one step ahead of them all the time and stuff like that. So yeah, he, he, he has a daughter and he has a, a love interest and he basically knows what everything they're thinking, okay? He knows how to be the, the perfect man, so to speak, okay? So this is an interesting movie right here, and uh, yeah, go check that out. Next movie I have here, oh my gosh, I love this movie. And it's because, you know, it's not just a chick flick, there's like action, it's a thriller, okay? Um, it's got some supernatural elements and stuff like that too. And I was after I seen it, I was talking about it like all the time. Okay, I was annoying my friends with it. I was like, oh, I gotta, you gotta see this movie, The Adjustment Bureau with Emily Blunt and Matt Damon. Okay, this movie basically is just go against fate. Okay, uh, fate would not allow these two people uh, to be together, and they will go against it just to be together. Okay, I, it's, it's a great movie. Watch it. Next movie we have here, well, this is the Nicholas Sparks collection, okay? I'm sure you're familiar with the author. Um, it has Knights in a Row, Dante, Message in a Bottle, A Walk to Remember, and The Notebook. The only movie I want to talk about in here, and the only movie I've seen out of all these four, is The Notebook, which I also have a Blu-ray of, okay? I, uh, there's no way for me to actually give my thoughts without actually spoiling this. Okay? But I'm going to assume most of you have seen this already. Okay? The Notebook is basically a flashback movie. Okay? Uh, a man is telling this woman a story and the woman doesn't know what's going on and you 
we learn at the end that the woman has Alzheimer's. She has forgotten her life together with this man, okay? And it's just sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is one of, one of those favorite movies, okay? So yeah, go check it out. You know what I'm talking about. Next movie we have here, this is the 25th anniversary edition Blu-ray DVD that you can only get at Walmart right now. So go out and buy The Princess Bride. Now, okay, The Princess Bride has comedy. It has some romance in it, but I do not consider it a romantic comedy, okay? Not, 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 not. That's my opinion. Um, it's a part of the movie, but it's not the main part of the movie. I first heard about this movie um, back in high school. They did a play at my school uh, of this story. And in high school, we actually saw the movie, okay? Uh, not long after that. <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny. I love the, uh, the exchange in dialogue. It has some very clever um, conversations in this movie, okay? So go check that out. Next movie we have here. Very iconic love story, okay? Um, a lot of people know about it. Lady and the Tramp from Disney, okay? Uh, let, let's, let's face it. Out of all the Disney movies, when it comes to love stories, there's nothing more iconic and more memorable than the spaghetti scene between the tramp and and lady. Okay, so um, yeah, beautiful story about a high class girl with a, like dude that's from the bottom of the barrel, basically. Okay, <laughs> there it is. Next movie we got here, Kira Knightley. Beautiful movie. Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have probably have seen this. Two people hate each other in the beginning, and by the end of the movie, they, they like each other. So basically, that's it. This movie, oh my gosh, Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman, and yeah, this is Academy Award winner. I think Best Picture, uh, three Oscars, Casablanca. Okay, this is like the the pinnacle of love stories, right? Here, or I mean, that's a matter of opinion, but yeah, this is one of the, the big ones, okay? Classic, classic story, okay? Now, I do have a lot of other stories, you know, I got uh, that Reese Witherspoon movie, um, Just Like Heaven. Uh, I want to talk about uh, As Good As It Gets, Helen Hunt and uh, Jack Nicholson. I want to talk about Love Story, the actual movie Love Story, you know, with a, a very memorable theme song. Uh, there's, there's so many more movies I want to talk about, but I just don't have it with me here, okay, in this dorm room. So anyway, thank you for watching, people. What is your favorite chick flick, okay? Comment below, let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.